everyone, it's Sharon here. Welcome back to the channel. Last time, we explored the powerful 3JS engine and how it's transforming the 3D landscape. In case you missed it, you make sure to check out the link in the description to catch up. Today, we're diving into another amazing tool, the Babylon.js. If you've ever been curious about how video games, virtual environments, or stunning 3D visuals come to life on the web, Babylon.js is a great option to consider. This powerful library is built on WebGL, enabling developers to render real-time 3D graphics directly into web browsers. No special software or plugins needed. Everything runs smoothly online. So where did Babylon.js come from? In 2013, two Microsoft engineers, David Katu and David Rousse, created Babylon.js as a side project to make 3D web development more accessible. They built Babylon.js on WebGL, a technology that helps graphics render in your browser. But they made it user-friendly, cutting out all the complex coding that usually comes with 3D projects. Fast forward to today, Babylon.js has grown into a robust open-source project with over 500 contributors. For instance, Ubisoft harnessed Babylon.js to power one of their Assassin's Creed titles. This collaboration allowed Ubisoft to create highly detailed and interactive environments, enhancing player immersion and making the game world feel more dynamic and lifelike. Not only did this improve gameplay, but it also set a new standard for web-based 3D experiences, showcasing the powerful potential of Babylon.js for developers in the gaming industry. Imagine you're creating a virtual showroom to showcase your products. With Babylon.js, you can make it interactive, allowing users to rotate items, zoom in for details, and explore 3D models from every angle. This not only makes the experience more engaging, but also helps users understand the products better. It's a user-friendly API that lets you quickly add features like rotation, realistic lighting, and smooth animation with minimal coding. This means you can focus on making your showcase visually appealing without getting bogged down by complex programming. Additionally, Babylon.js is built for performance, ensuring that even detailed models load quickly and run smoothly on computers, tablets, and smartphones. This accessibility allows people to enjoy your virtual showroom from anywhere in the world. So what can you build with Babylon.js? The possibilities are endless. For example, during the pandemic, many museums like the British Museum, London and the Smithsonian National Museum of Natural History used Babylon.js to create virtual tours. This allowed visitors to walk through exhibits and interact with 3D artifacts, giving them an immersive experience from home. Babylon.js made it easy for these museums to showcase their collections in a fun way, letting people explore 3D models and engage with art and history like never before. Now, now let's explore the exciting future of Babylon.js. While this community is currently smaller than that of 3JS, it's growing rapidly and holds immense potential. With strong backing from Microsoft and continuous contributions from developers, Babylon.js is becoming more robust every day. The engine is constantly evolving. The team is focused on pushing WebGL's capabilities even further with new features like advanced physics, better AR-VR support, and more efficient rendering techniques. This means we could soon see Babylon.js powering everything from high-end video games to immersive online shopping experiences and innovative training simulations. And that's a wrap on Babylon.js. Not just a powerful JavaScript library and 3D engine for creating stunning web-based 3D experiences, but it's also shaping the future of how we interact with 3D graphics on the web. Have you tried Babylon.js or are you considering it for your next project? Drop a comment below and let's chat. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you should really join our Discord community to stay updated on all things 3D. Until next time, keep creating and exploring the world of 3D. Bye-bye.